welcome back to my channel i'm super excited for today's video because i'm going to be doing something that i have been wanting to do for the longest time and that is creating a vision board so for any of you guys that don't know what a vision board is a vision board is something that you create and it is made up of a variety of photos just of things that you're able to visualize that can be pictures it can be graphics it can be actual photos of yourself with others and basically what the whole intention of creating a vision board is for you to be able to visualize the goals and the things that you're trying to reach in your life i'm going to be bringing you guys along and i hope you guys enjoy this video i will get a little bit more into detail throughout the entire video so to begin i'm i bought this this little bulletin board and I bought it at Walmart. I guess I think it was like seven dollars I didn't want something too big, but I also didn't want something like super tiny because I actually like want to visualize like the things and Yeah, so I bought this for seven dollars. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is I think I'm going to paint the outsides I'm going to paint the outsides in pink because the vibe of my room is kind of like pinkish, white, like kind of glam, you know? So, um, on the wall, I don't want it to look just like too simple or anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and paint that, the border, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I started to paint it. Like I told you guys, I want a pink border. Um, it's going on really weird, but... If it doesn't end up going on perfectly i don't really mind i just wanted a like a little hint of pink Okay guys, so it's looking a little bit rusty, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go over it about two times with this acrylic paint and we'll see how the finale turns out. Excuse yourself, sir. Um, hello, I'm trying to film Marvin. Marvin? <laughs> okay guys, so I'm back. Um, Okay guys, so I'm back. So yesterday I went ahead and I printed things that I would like to have on my vision board. And all of these things are things that I like envision in my life. Like I see them and I know I'm gonna have them one day. But the fact that I'm going to have it on a vision board on my wall, making me see my making me see my goals and my visions every day it's i feel like it's going to simply just push me to do little things on my day that are going to get me there if that makes sense in a way it's priming my brain it's priming my brain to know and envision that and feel what it would be like to have those things already and it's not just things it can be uh their goals for myself things that i envision um, how my body looks, how I am mentally, things that I want to accomplish. Um, and so it's just like a variety of those things. Marvin's right here going to sleep. So don't mind his little bell. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get started and show you guys all the things that I envision in my life. So I'm going to begin with this one. Um... And as I cut it out, I'm gonna go ahead and just like kind of talk about it in a while. So right here we have two G wagons. Um, I would really, really, really. I hope that one day I'm able to have my own G wagon. And I also added the, I added an all black G wagon because I think they're like so so chic, so cute, so like elegant, and. These are luxuries that I look towards having in my life. Every time I see what I get a G-Wagon in the freeway and things like that, like I see them and I'm like, oh, like I can't wait till I have one, if that makes sense. 
so I'm instilling those feelings in myself every day with this vision board and with these items on it so there's my first one this is my rose uh, gold G wagon that I want to have I cannot wait that is so cute and I definitely cannot wait until I'm able to own one until I'm able to have the financial like ability to own one you know because they're not like five dollars but yeah guys like if you guys want to become more familiar and want to get into debt more about um, vision boards and there's a lot of type of boards out there I would recommend you guys to listen to a podcast I would recommend you guys to listen to this podcast it is called impact theory and it is the interview that um that tom bill you had with with john asaraf so i'm gonna link it down below so you guys can go ahead and listen to that you know that video is super awesome because it has a lot of content and a lot of information that you guys can use and apply to your life if you guys are looking forward to um pushing yourselves every day towards your goals that episode is really good actually all of the impact theory episodes are really good but this one just kind of like uh nitpicks all the important points you know and he also talks about different vision types of boards you know and yeah guys so i, I recommend you guys to go listen to that here is my second g wagon i don't know why it's not focusing but guys don't underestimate yourselves um what i did was i went on pinterest and in instagram and i began to search for a lot of things that i constantly look at and i'm like oh like i wish i could have that so i went to pinterest and i made sure that i got a lot of photos and things that that i really feel that i want you know because you can see a lot of just like pictures and you're like wow it would be nice to have that but they don't really like instill any type of emotion in you any type of excitement so i made sure that the all the photos and everything that i'm going to apply onto my vision board they're things and photos of of stuff that actually get me excited it's not just like oh i wish i had that like no like it's like photos of things that i that excite me you know because there could be ten thousand photos of the same thing but only one of them can actually like allow you to feel like really excited color is very important for your guys's vision boards make sure that you guys put color guys this isn't expensive to do you guys just need to buy a random board you guys can get it on amazon i bought mine at walmart for seven dollars and if you guys want to like paint it like i did you only have to pay a dollar for like the little acrylic i definitely definitely recommend you guys to push yourselves and do this you know um we're constantly just feeding our brain things that we see on social media and it, it just like doesn't push us to do a lot because i constantly find myself being on instagram and in seeing things that i would like to have and instead of getting me excited to push myself to do something they have it i just look at it and i'm like oh like i wish i had that and then i kind of like look at what i have and i'm like mm, like it kind of gets me down in a way and i'm sure it doesn't just happen to me so this is a really good thing to to do for yourself i feel like i'm talking and rambling a lot but i feel like i'm actually like giving important things so just bear with me guys <laughs> okay so this second one that i'm going to be cutting out is oh i didn't explain these so these are places that i would love to visit one day in my life um this is in japan this is beautiful and i would I want to visit places that make me feel like I'm not in this world, you know, like that I'm somewhere else. And so that's really beautiful. I'd really like to visit Japan. So I put that on there because I would like to travel more. And this is in Iceland, you know, the Northern Lights and all that. So, so actually, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut all them out. And then um, I'll come back and kind of go over them once they're all cut out already. Okay, guys, so I was able to cut everything out already and so i'm gonna show you guys the things that i'm going to be adding onto my vision board and kind of giving you guys a little bit of the background of why i'm going to be adding that item onto my vision board so we began with my two 
dream cars you know it's the same car but different color this is a really big motivation for me because I currently don't own a car and instead of putting a goal of having a Toyota which isn't bad you know that's awesome I don't even have a car so any car for me is awesome but this is making me push myself more and making this my dream you know so this is my dream car a little g-wagon moment I cannot wait until I am filming my YouTube videos in a g-wagon and I also already <laughs> Marvin's over it okay so I also um, showed you guys two of the main places that I would love to visit I would also love to visit Brazil I just didn't print anything out for Brazil I probably um, print it out later and then add it on there but yeah guys Japan and Iceland are one of the top two places okay so next I have a few of these um so kind of my dream houses you know I would love to have bigger houses but these are two of the photos that really I was like oh that would be so nice you know that got me like pumped up and excited so I made sure as as I mentioned in the beginning of the video I made sure that I chose photos of things that would really push me and really get me excited what also oh I forgot about this one like look at that it's so beautiful so nice don't mind my cutting guys I suck at cutting but it's all about the focus of the picture so I also loved this backyard like oh I saw a lot of like backyards but this is one that I was like oh my god it's so beautiful so it's like this backyard but it has a pool obviously when I am a homeowner I would like to have a pool I would like to have a pool in my house so as you guys can see there's like the pools around and then in the middle it's like just like a little chill area like that is beautiful like oh my gosh I saw that and I was like oh like that's so exciting another photo that so I'm gonna show you guys all like my home items like this is so nice like a little black aesthetic in the home like oh my gosh it's beautiful so that also like motivates me you know there's like a little like pool in there like right here I would love to have a home that has a high ceiling and this picture just gave it to give me all of that like it's high ceiling it's white modernish and so you know these just are photos of things that i dream of myself having and i know one day i will have and so it's just gonna push me to have those things this is a restroom you know a little master bedroom okay so now other things that other goals besides being a homeowner that i envision for my life is having a fit body like you guys you guys don't understand um uh how hard it is for me sometimes to like stay motivated well i know there's never motivation but like to make myself accountable and to push myself towards being constant in my routines like just workout routines so these photos are three photos that honestly like i saw them and i was like oh my god like that's my dream body you know so I would love to have abs you know nothing too dramatic but I feel like that's like oh my gosh like I wish I could have like that body so here I would love to have those freaking legs and those glutes like oh my gosh that is goals so lastly these thunder thighs like are you kidding me like that is so motivating so I know that seeing that is just gonna push me to like get my ass up and and go do something and go to the gym or even eat better because my health needs to stay where it's at you know so my next goal guys is this photo I took it a while ago but I took it on a day that I was feeling just like genuinely really happy and there's a thing about me that I love sunsets like if you guys go on my Instagram I literally have a tab where you can see all the sunset photos I take and it's just when I see nice sunsets or I see the sky looking like in a beautiful way it just instills happiness in me and and honestly it just makes me like pause and 
enjoy like the moment because i'm looking at this guy and i'm just thinking like oh my gosh like this is just so beautiful so i feel like this is just kind of like a little reminder of how beautiful the world can be so that's something that we all need to be reminded of every day so i also added this because i would love to be a homeowner and i added this with this little credit score thing i would love for myself to one day see this on my credit score around seven be in the 700s you know and seeing that my credit score is very good i am honestly guys i am not a really good money saver i have started this year and it is a bit difficult for me so if you guys have any tips on money saving i would love that um but personally what if i see this like recently i've been kind of pushing myself towards working more on my credit score and so i actually have been but because i've kind of made myself visit um credit karma and just kind of like see like the things that i need to work on so if i have this every day posted on my wall i know that i'm going to be reminded that today i can do something about my credit score and that's going to take me a step further towards all these other visions and things that i see for myself and so like i was saying guys i know i'm not a big money saver like don't think that i don't save at all but i'm just not uh, to the point where i want to so i made sure that i added this on there too it is just like a little bank kind of login thing and i do believe that you should always just aim for like the most that you can but I also think that sometimes my brain will like tell me like okay that's just too much you know like if I put like a million dollar bank account login thing like I would see it and be like mm, no but I'm like super far away from that you know and if I put something more realistic just like simple five thousand dollars like it's gonna be more achievable for me like I feel like that's a more achievable number for me and it's not that I'm going to confirm myself and say oh, okay i'm already like at the five thousand like that's it no it's just like a number that i feel is very achievable for me and that i know i can do it and so just always remind you yourselves that sometimes we push ourselves too much and we're putting these entire like these big like these big goals for ourselves that sometimes it's unmotivating like it really is so all of these things that i have here i know and i feel that i can achieve it and so that is exactly why I decided to create this vision board. Another thing I did, guys, was that I made my vision board into a photo. So I kind of got a f one of like a few of the ones that I have on my actual vision board. And I made it a kind of collage onto my phone. Excuse my phone, it's broken on the top. You can't see anything, but I... I went ahead and did that as well because I am constantly like on my phone, you know, and our brain will start working unconsciously for the things that we see. So I decided that I'm always on my phone. I as well, you know, make it also a collage onto my phone and I have it as my lock screen, my lock screen and my home screen. So I'm looking at it all the time and it and yeah guys so enough talking i'm gonna start adding the items onto my vision board so you guys can see how it turns out okay guys so my board is all ready to go i'm so excited to put it on you guys have no idea how bad i have been wanting to just finally get to this and do it but i hadn't so i'm gonna get like my little thumb thumbtacks and i'm just gonna be using the pink ones because you know my robe is pink vibes so I'm going to start off, I kind of want to make sure everything's all over the place, I don't want to, well, I don't know, I think I'm just going to kind of start, I guess I'll show you guys this way. okay guys so everything is on my vision board already i am super excited that i finally have it i cannot wait until i start seeing you know how it's pushing me every day and i hope you guys are able to create your own at home 
if you do make sure you let me know how you created it what you added on it i think that if i were to add anything else it would probably be like little words you know just like happiness you know confidence things that i would like to have for myself <laughs> i'm out of breath and yeah guys so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i will see you guys in my next video if you guys enjoy these type of videos you know of self like improvement and motivation you know in a way let me know so i can make more videos like this i would love that that actually be pretty cool and make sure you guys check out the impact theory episode below i promise that you guys are going to learn a lot of things on there if you do make sure you leave me a comment and let me know what you learned don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody who has been subscribing to my channel and liking and commenting any of my videos. I am so excited to see what else I'm able to do with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day.